Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful 4th of December, 2021. Coming up in the Krusty Connect podcast, episode 158. Oh no, kids, brace yourself. It is Omicron variant. All that and more panic brought to you by the powers that be. Coming up, viewer and listener discretion is advised. Stay tuned. Hit it, sweetheart. Because I am hard, you will not like me. Yes, sir. There is no racial bigotry here. Here you are all equally working. From Western Canada, this is the Krusty Canuck Podcast, a Canadian veteran's point of view on political, social, economic issues, and life. He is Krusty. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 158, Krusty Neck Podcast. I'm your host, Krusty Canuck. And as mentioned, look out, kids. It's the Omicron variant. All that other BS and good stuff coming our way to save us from ourselves. Yes, that's right. I'm your host, Krusty Canuck. Welcome, everybody. Pardon my absence the past little while. Like I said, I've been working at my new job, so I cannot be here uh, all the time to try to get you two episodes up a week, but here I am nonetheless. Yes, so now we've got the new panic in our system, the Omicron variant. Yes, another strain of the infamous COVID strain that's going to keep us locked up in our houses for another year or so. We'll have to see. Now, like I've said before, ladies and gentlemen, on the show, I don't care if you get inoculated. I care. I don't care if you do, whatever. What I care is about the, your personal li- liberty is... Uh, Truth, respect, but this past year and a half has proven otherwise, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it's just been, <laughs> it's been a real poop show. You know, it's now December. We're getting into that festive season. Uh, whether you're religious or not, it's still festive for uh, a lot of our people here in Canada, Christmas and, and Hanukkah and what have you. So what gets me is this timing could have been a little bit more <laughs> impeccable when it came to people getting inoculated and people getting their shots and everything. And now they want to give shots to children. Now they want to give shots to more shots to people over 50 and in their seventies because of this new variant that's really hurting people from Africa. Now what gets me is about buddy of mine, Frank P Vaughn. He posted something uh, on his Facebook there the other day or today, actually. And in regards to that, it was just, uh, it, it was, you know, well, it made sense. You know, it made a lot of sense of what he had to say. You know, and uh, I'll post this up here too. How do the new variants make it to Canada when only the medically treated, quarantined, and tested can get in or out? We have a shortage of functional brain cells. And that's right, Frank. There is a, sh- a function of, sh- of, of brain cells, honestly. Now ask yourself this. When it comes to this new variant, this new strain, did it not say the same thing about the Delta variant too? How do the new variants make it to Canada when only the medically treated quarantined and tested can get in or out hmm. they just opened the borders to the united states they just let some more leniency go and now we have these new variants that come from africa i believe south africa nigeria what have you and uh well it's just a poop show it is it's, it's, it's nothing but more fear ladies and gentlemen more fear, more of us to sit in our hands and wait for the second coming so to have the notional government Jesus to turn our water into wine, what have you. And enough is enough. Okay? Enough is enough. People are starting to work again. People are starting to get out here in, into the world and take a stand. Okay? Take a proper stand on what needs to be done. Let people live their lives accordingly. Now, big news in the States right now is that individual that shot up uh, at school in Michigan, the 15-year-old boy. Now they're trying to find his parents because his parents owned the gun that he used in the heinous crime. And to summarize what I have read and what I've seen, I am so sick and tired of, of the scapegoat. I am fed up with the scapegoat. What say you, ladies and gentlemen? Honestly. Okay. In my last episode, I talked about a gunsmith that was wrongfully killed in Port Dover, Ontario on a mysterious warrant that was issued by the Toronto police service and their ER team raided his house or his shop. And there's still no word on this magical customer that was talking with Mr. Contanko. And there's still no word in this mystical warrant that was presented uh, to Mrs. Contanko, apparently. So we don't know. 
So there's a lot of shit storm going on in both of our countries, ladies and gentlemen. My American listeners out there, uh, we, we, we hear your pain and we feel your pain too. And we, we, we see how the mainstream media is in both of our countries like to twist and manipulate things over and over again like a bad goddamn sugar diet. And you come up and boom, you come down. You come up and boom, you come down, right? So enough is enough here, okay? Like I've said before numerous times on my show, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get inoculated, get inoculated. If you don't want to get inoculated, don't get inoculated. It's your choice, okay? It's your choice. But it seems like what we have 80, 80%, 90% now of the population who have had their jab, who have had their shot, and they should be good to go. But now there's, they're finding out there's no real medicine involved in these shots. So which is it then? Now they're encouraging people 50 and up to get a third shot. A third shot. Get a booster. Get this. Get that. Okay. So which is it then? Right? You're also finding an abundance of people that are speaking out against said inoculation, speaking out against said tyranny, speaking out against such ridiculous mandates that have not just come for our provinces or for our provincial health services, but from the federal government and from employers and people alike. Okay. So which is it? Okay. We're now at 4th of December. We're in, we're in the Christmas season where we should be giving, showing each other how much we really care. And if we're going to unify our country, if we're going to unify things, then we got to stop with this Carl and Karen mandate. We got to stop with this tattling. We got to stop living in fear, folks. Okay. Now, my wife and I, we've had numerous debates in regards to, to this and that we have different views when it comes to it. But I'm not going to kick her out of my life because she has a different opinion. I've invested too much time, effort, and emotion in our life together. To, to worry about something feeble as that, okay? The mask mandates have to stop, honestly, really. One minute they're telling you to go outside, get some fresh air and mingle, but still social distance and everything too. So which is it, okay? Wear a mask, don't wear a mask. You're outside getting fresh air. Oh, yes, please let the fresh air hold, but still wear a mask though. Why? Hmm? I could see this this time of year in Canada where the weather is changing, the weather is changing, not the climate. You crazy little environmentalists, you know who I'm talking about, you little bastards, right? The weather is changing because it's fucking winter time and things are going to get colder. So it's logical to put on a scarf or a balaclava or have a face covering because it does get pretty fucking nasty in parts of this country too. You're looking at temperatures anywhere from minus 15, minus 20 and throwing some wind chill there. You've got yourself a nasty biting cold. So yeah, wear a mask for the sake of protecting your face from the cold. But we got to start questioning again, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to start questioning these clowns and start putting them to account because enough is enough. What say you? Let me know in the comments. Pardon my little glitch there, but uh, still, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Stay updated and follow Krusty Canuck on Facebook, Twitter, Gab, Telegram, YouTube, and Podbean. Subscribe today and donate at KrustyCanuck.ca. And as the advert said, if you like and hear what you see, please click like, subscribe, and comment too, especially my YouTube followers. Please send me some more comments. Get the algorithm going. Help this uh, podcast get out there into the world so people can think for themselves and decide what they want to see and what they want to watch. Okay? That's the thing too. Uh, I watched something on uh, CTV this morning. I didn't uh, click a link or save it. I just didn't bother. Uh, Mr. Nanos, head of the Nanos poll, uh, apparently had a national poll recently. Uh, that said the majority of Canadians want to end online hate speech and what have you. Online hate speech and saying hateful things. And oh my goodness, don't say this. Oh, don't say that. And I'll say again, hate speech is a broad term. Okay, folks. Now, if I sat here in this show and I said I hated this type of person and that type of person and these people and those people and that person and this person, and I pinpointed over something about their gender or the color of their skin or the religious ideology, I could understand that being hate speech. And you deal with people like those in a way where you just F and ignore them. Okay. But I, I personally don't think that the majority of Canadians who were polled, quote unquote, okay, actually have that kind of sense where they want to ban or censor people. Who in their right mind honestly wants to ban and censor something? 
You know as well as I do. If you don't like what you see, turn the page, turn the TV off, leave the theater, whatever. You don't like what you read, then you put it down. Buy a different paper, buy a different book, buy a different magazine. You don't like someone's opinion on this? Okay, you don't have to agree with it. You can debate that person with reason. You know, you don't like what someone has to say, then you cold cock them in the jaw. Well, that's just assault. We know that's wrong in some cases. And he has to say, right? You, you, you try to keep yourself up above that bullshit, honestly. I've said numerous times, ladies and gentlemen, in, in my show and on my live streams too, that I was raised in a household where I don't judge people based on the color of their skin or their gender. I judge people based on their actions and their character. Okay. And even if someone's actions and character does not coincide with yours, you negotiate, you talk about it, you debate it, you open up about it, you open up the dialogue. And if it turns into a violent situation, then that's the risk we got to take. It's that fucking simple. Right. So if you don't like going online and seeing things or hearing things that you disagree with, then you have a little button that's called delete. Or you can skip the page or go to a different channel or go to a different video or go to a different service. It's there. The options are there. Have we really lost touch with thinking for ourselves, ladies and gentlemen? Have we really lost that ability to think for ourselves that we need bigger and bigger and bigger government to tell us what to do, when to wipe our nose, yeah, and when to wipe our asses? Something to think about in the next few months. Stay updated and follow Krusty Canuck on Facebook, Twitter, Gab, Telegram, YouTube, and Podbean. Subscribe today and donate at KrustyCanuck.ca. Now, is it because of all this, uh, this new initial panic when it comes to our economy and, of course, the infamous Omicron variant? More of this to thwart us from making real decisions. Well, we, we know our politicians really don't care because in the past week uh, in the mainstream media, in the news, of course, parliamentarians want to bring in a hybrid model. Basically, they want to promote hybrid parliamentary efforts, meaning that if these individuals want to stay at home and work from home, then they can. All because of the Omicron variant. Oh my God. To me, that's just being lazy. Okay? So it doesn't matter if it's a strain of the flu going around or a strain of this going around or a strain of the farts or a strain of diarrhea. Get your ass to work. Okay? Because you spent the better part of two effing months off after the half-assed election where nothing was ventured, nothing was gained. And now you want to pass legislation again that says, oh, well, we, we might want to work at home. No! Get your ass to Ottawa and start making some real effing fucking decisions. That simple, right? That's what you're paid to do. Right? I remind you, my beautiful audience, too, that Parliament passed two motions. Okay, well, two motions. Well, they had two votes to get themselves pay raises, regardless of the pandemic or not. And I've personally talked to some parliamentarians that say, well, I give mine to charity. Well, that's great, but you still authorized it. And the majority of parliamentarians of the 330 is the majority is said yes to another F and raise. So two raises in the past two years. Okay. And now you want the option of working at home because you're scared of the Omicron variant. Really? When it's cold outside, put a hat on. When your hands are cold, put some gloves on. If it's hot outside, you hydrate. So you protect yourself every day. You use common sense when it comes to those things, right? If it's cold outside, you got to get up early in the morning and go to work. Oh, shit. You might have to get up an extra 10 minutes earlier just to scrape off your car and heat it up. So turn it on, let it run for a bit. So you're ready to hit the road to meet your timing. Prepare yourself. Prepare, prepare, prepare. You know, we all do it. What's your excuse? All right? So we got another variant to worry about, more panic in the streets, more chaos in the streets, more telling people what to do. Let's hurry up and get these kids, get their jabbed, and make sure that people over 50 and in their 70s get an additional jab too. 
And then what? You're going to lock things down in the process again while the majority of Canadians get their third or fourth dose? And then what? Six months from now, we're not going to have the Omicron variant. We're going to have another variant after that, too. Is that it that we project? So more fear, more of this build back better bullshit and more chaos because of you lot. Hi, V. Anyhow. <laughs> so I came across this little video from uh, uh, Safe Space Cafe. He's a nice guy. He does a, you know, a little thing on uh, YouTube there. We put together uh, the parliamentarian videos and everything like that. And he's, he's quite the uh, individual. I think he comes out of Niagara Falls, you know. But uh, anyway, I'll play this for you. And uh, it gives you insight on the decisions that are being made for you and me here. Okay. It gives you some real insight when it comes to uh, how they're going to deal with this, you know, this variant and what they think about finances in this country. Now, you've heard me talk about the inflation rates going up because all this money getting printed, all this quantitative easing is, is a new term that our American friends like to use to justify the governments working with the Federal Reserve in the States and our Bank of Canada here in Canada to print more money just to give it out so it has higher return for elite people higher return for bankers and investors and sweet fuck all for you and me. Right. So this, this video is about five minutes long, so bear with me here, but please listen to it. I'll leave a link in my description, all that stuff too, for you guys to listen to and follow. But it's quite interesting, the bantering back and forth and how Miss Freeland likes to talk down to other parliamentarians as well as other Canadians. So I'll cue it up here for you guys. So, Thirty-two percent. It's quite a bit. Thirty-two fucking percent up. Interesting. Oh, Ahmed. Yes, yes. The professional victim himself. Yeah. I don't believe it. Just inflation? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. <laughs>
Here's a fact, Miss Freeland. You have no idea what you're doing. Really, you don't. Well, that speaks for itself, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Miss Freeland talking about how people should read more books. And I, I suggest she should read uh, a little more in regards to Thomas Sewell and his like uh, and understanding of, of economics. And uh, here's another thing too, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Miss Freeland was quite, quite the brainstormer when it came to the CERB and SEBA payments. And the Liberal government knew that a lot of people were receiving the CERB and SEBA that didn't really need it, i.e. like uh, prisoners. Uh, teenagers that were employed and people that were employed receiving a little extra handout. So I don't trust Miss Freeland as far as I could throw her. Right. And uh, friends of mine, we like to call her the pint size. You know what? The whole pint size. See you next Tuesday. Right. Speaks for itself. So not only we have to constantly fear this new. Omicron variant. We got to put up with more of that garbage for the next couple of years until they have the balls to come to another proper election. Wow, it's just fantastic, isn't it? Hey, just fan fantastic. Wow. Crack don't smoke itself. Stay updated and follow Krusty Canuck on Facebook, Twitter, Gab, Telegram, YouTube, and Podbean. Subscribe today and donate at krustycanuck.ca. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since I've used this segment in the show, but, but of course, it would not be fair to you, my beautiful friends and fans and listeners out there, if I did not incorporate another segment of the Canadian Polar Vortex of Bullshit. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, due consideration, a lot of thought in the past uh, couple of days while I was busy working, feeding cattle, all that good stuff. I was thinking who would be one hell of a recipient to this episode's Canadian polar vortex of bullshit. So without further ado, all I'm going to say is wait for it. Little pause. Wait for it. Miss Krista Freeland. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. And she's with me right now as we speak. Miss Freeland, tell me, how do you feel about winning this week's episode of the Canadian Polar Vortex of Bullshit? Please, enlighten us all. I'm so happy I could just shit. Well, congratulations, Miss Freeland. You just got yourself uh, another, because I know you had one of these before, but you had yourself, you get yourself another... Uh, a template in the the Canadian polar vortex of bullshit. 
That's great, Miss Freeland. Congratulations, congratulations, and I'm glad that you've uh, taken it like a good sport. Right? Well done, madam. Well done. Well done. And I really hope to God that one day I don't meet you face to face because I have no respect for you. I have no respect for Mr. Trudeau. I have no respect for the Liberal cabinet right now. Now, I'm not going to encourage any kind of violence or anything like that. It's not my style. My style is this. I'll tell you it like it is. You're a bunch of putzes. You're a bunch of scam artists. And uh, you've lost the respect of a lot of Canadian people, regardless of where you sit in the so-called stats or the polls. So congratulations on your Polar Vortex Award of bullshit, madam. Anyway, carrying on again. More of the uh, whole, uh, let's see. Omicron variant. Mm. You know, when I hear that, <laughs> I, I, I think of a Transformer that just didn't make it. I, I guess that Transformer wasn't evil enough for Megatron's uh, plans to take over the world. So when I hear that term, Omicron variant, I think of a Transformer that just wasn't evil enough, right? But instead, you know, people are calling it uh, a new strain of uh, the beer bug. And uh, you know, that's where we sit in today's world, right? So more fear, more panic coming down the line. Tell, please tell me what you think. You can uh, reach me via here in the description. And please click like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff too. And if you get a chance, ladies and gentlemen, please check out my shop at Customized Girl. Link will be in the uh, description as well. I know the prices have gone up due to inflation and other trade issues. I guess some materials from the other side of the globe, i.e. China are uh, <laughs> not available. I don't know, but I was looking at the sheet today and looking at my uh, the menu I had, for all the items, and I might be deleting some of the menu items too. Uh, just no one's buying it. Not that I expect you all to buy my kit, but uh, I got some Crusty Connect swagger there for sale for you to purchase if you want. Like I say, Christmas is coming up, so nothing says I love you like a good Crusty Connect t-shirt. You know, <laughs> but please consider buying some swagger today. Uh, offer still stands. Uh, if you want to, Win yourself this Krusty Canuck mug. Please donate uh, $10 or more to the patreon.podbean.com for my Patreon page at my uh, Podbean podcast page. By all means, donate five. Leave me your initials and email. So at the end of the month, prior to New Year's, I can pull out your name and hopefully you win yourself a Krusty Canuck mug. And the same goes for a T-shirt too. Uh, if you donate $5 or more a month, same thing, go to patreon.podbean.com, Krusty Canuck. Enter there, donate $5 a month, as many times as you like, and you get yourself a free T-shirt. Uh, basic black T-shirt, Krusty Canuck podcast. On the back, it says, Humanity and Merit Wins the Day, one of my uh, little, little uh, motto for the show. So please consider it today, ladies and gentlemen. Every little bit helps, too. And I also want to say a special thank you out there to a fan from Saskatchewan. I uh, will mention your name, Madam, Miss Betty Curry. Her and her husband donated some money to me. Thank you very much. You sent me a lovely card and a lovely kind note, and it's much appreciated. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. And give yourself an applause for that, too. Right on. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Betty Curry and her husband, for that great donation. I received that. And uh, my wife looked at the card going, hmm, who is this? Of course, like any wife should. And I told her, and she was quite pleased. So thank you from both of us. Uh, Ms. Curry and your husband for the wonderful donation. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And to you, my audience, my fans and listeners out there too. So if you like donating, please donate. Uh, you don't have to. I'm not going to sit here and demand cash. I'm not going to be one of those uh, YouTubers and podcasters that demands money all the time. I like to make this a full-time commitment because I really, really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And it's nice to get the words and the dialogue out there for you, my listeners, to enjoy. So please consider donating today if you can to any, by any means, you know, you don't have to give a lump sum or whatever. If you want to do monthly, please do monthly. That helps a long way too, but that's up to you, my listeners and my fans alike. Uh, but please consider looking at my shop and maybe buying some swagger for the holiday season and donating at your leisure, ladies and gentlemen too. Uh, but you can also find me on uh, rumble, Brighton and Wimkin as well there too. Every time I do a podcast, I load on those channels. So if you cannot get to me via YouTube, you can go there and see my content for all it's worth. Anyway, carrying on again with more of the, oh no, kids, it's Omicron variant. Yes, more BS on the horizon, folks. So what's next year going to be like? What's 2022 going to be like? Are they going to have more lockdowns? Are they going to make more excuses up? Are they going to be more trials and tribulations 
with pastors, restaurant owners, business owners. Okay. Are they going to fire more cops, fire more security guards? They're going to hire more cops, more security guards. We don't know. I can tell you this right now. My job is not in jeopardy because of that. Because as long as people like eating steak, I am still good to go. And regardless of what the environmental uh, junkies and hippies out there like to say about plant-based protein, we know it's garbage. I've had some of those patties and trust me, they are effing bleh, terrible, terrible. It's like chewing on sawdust as far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen. It might be nice with barbecue sauce and ketchup and all that wonderful thick things. It's still a plant-based piece of paper. That's what it tastes like to me. Nothing can replace the full taste of a good juicy burger or a nice effing frickin' T-bone or sirloin or better yet, a nice strip loin. Mm, both watering. That's if we can afford it. It goes up there with gasoline. So we're going to have to save up for that nice juicy steak come next month, ladies and gentlemen. Still, doesn't replace the real thing. Anyway, carrying on again with episode 158. I'm your host, Krusty Canuck. And it's going to be a busy time for me again, ladies and gentlemen, too. Like I've said, I'm working a lot of hours in this new job. It's a fantastic job. I work with some great people. I work for some great people, just down-to-earth human effing beings who share the same sentiment. Go to work, do your thing, go home, carry on, right? Show up on time, do the best job you can. If you're not sure, ask questions, all that good stuff. And it's quite the nice little environment that I'm into. I'm inside, I'm outside all day, I'm in a vehicle, outside of a vehicle, right? And we're busy. And let's just say I start at 6.30 in the morning and I end roughly around 4.35-ish or a bit later. So it's a good, long, solid 11 hours of work. And I enjoy it. it keeps me busy, keeps me focused, keeps me sharp, keeps the lights on. And it helps, ladies and gentlemen, it helps. Because uh, we all know how this pandemic has locked people in people have lost jobs people have lost their way people have lost their minds yours truly came close a few times there so uh, luckily my support network was there to support me my wife and we're, we're, we're still trucking along and that's what i expect you of my listeners out there too to my american friends canadian friends british friends anyone who's listening to this podcast there is light at the end of this tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. We just got to keep focusing on it, and it's there. We can do this. But like I say, it's tis the season, too, so do what you can to help each other out to the best of your abilities, right? Help a neighbor out with some snow. Uh, if a neighbor gets stuck, help him pull his truck out or his car out, whatever. You know, if you got a few bucks to give for extra groceries, or if you know a neighborhood kid who's not going to have a good Christmas, do what you can to help that individual out, to put some smiles on their faces, that kind of thing. As we all know what it's like to be a little kid and waking up Christmas morning and finding a nice big shiny present there for you. Some of us also know too what it's like to wake up in the morning and not get anything. Right. And I, I'm not saying that because of my childhood. I'm saying that because I was overseas one Christmas. So I know how it is. Right. And it, it's it's tough. It's tough, ladies and gentlemen. But we shall persevere, we shall overcome because a lot of us come from stock of parents and grandparents that survived the Great Depression and World War II. And they had tricks of the trade that gave us incentive to understand how to deal with a struggle, how to overcome it, and still look at the sunshine and go, yeah, what a great fucking day. Right. But regardless of what's going on with this, this whole new uh, strain, this whole new financial crisis, quantitative easing that I heard uh, Pierre Polyev talk about in the Candace Malcolm show, it, it gives you incentive that there's bullshit everywhere. And we've got the shovels to start throwing it out. But let's hope the uh, Omicron variant doesn't get us, according to mainstream media. <laughs> Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, I have been Krusty Canuck on this beautiful 4th of December, 2021. Uh, to my American listeners out there, hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. You know, Christmas coming too. So it'll be another turkey day for both of us. You know, I myself am getting tired of effing turkey. Maybe a nice, maybe a nice ham or so. Yeah, I would see. Maybe a nice charming little roast for the festive feast. We'll see. But until then, do what we can to help each other to the best of our abilities. And uh, please stay tuned. I will be live this Monday at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, ladies and gentlemen. So you'll be able to find me on YouTube and Facebook alike. I'll be taking your questions. So it'll be another Krusty Connect Q&A. Uh, first live stream I've had in a few months. 
uh, due to some sh- scheduling uh, conflicts and because of my employment. But this Monday, I will dedicate about an hour and a half or so to you, my fans, my listeners out there. If you want to come in and say hello, ask me a question, what do you do? If you want to donate, by all means. So, yes, look at my uh, community page on YouTube and Facebook for updates on that. It's already posted that it will be live this Monday on the 6th of December at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern to my Ontario and upstate New York listeners, too. So please pay attention to that. Come on out and say hi, ladies and gentlemen. By all means, ask me anything you want to know, just as long as it's clean and it's real. <laughs> and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, please consider donating all that good stuff. And like I said, I've been Krusty Canuck on this beautiful 4th of December. 2021 tis the season to do what we can to help each other out to the best of our abilities and try to stay try to stay sane folks right i put a number in my description uh, to help fellow veterans out and don't hesitate to use that it's a 1-800 number that helps people get along get ahead i myself as a veteran i still have demons that i need to slay once in a while but i'm in a good pathway right now and i'm in a good a good place and I have to say a lot of it's due because of you, my fans and listeners out there too, who have said some wonderful and positive things to me over the past couple of months. I am very, very grateful. You guys are effing awesome. You know, you still have to give yourselves an applause once in a while. You, know, you guys rock, honestly. Thank you very much. You know, I'm very grateful that I've had some wonderful comments. And please uh, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And give me a comment or two every time I put a new video up or anything for that matter. Get the algorithm going. So other people can look at it and choose if they want to see it or not. Same thing, you know, vice versa, all that good stuff. Like I say, I've been Krusty Canuck on this beautiful day. And uh, weather's nice for now. It's still cold outside, but I'm going to go in town, get some groceries, get my dog some food, all that good stuff, and do some of my daily chores that I've ignored the past 10 days. Uh-oh. But needless to say... <laughs> Hope for the best, prepare for the worst, right? All that good stuff. So like I say, I hope to see you as Monday for my uh, Q&A live. And please, in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Do what you can to help each other the best of your abilities, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you next time. And remember, humanity merit wins the day. Take care. Bye for now. Hit it, sweetheart. Because I am hard, you will not like me. There is no racial bigotry here. Here you are all equally working. This has been another episode of the Krusty Canuck Podcast. Stay sane and thank you for listening. From Western Canada, this is the Krusty Canuck Podcast. Well, smack my ass and call me Judy.